Hey, Sandra Gerard here from the worthier part, sandratwp.com, and I have another great Think Fun product to share with you. This one's called Clue Master. Uh, they're calling it a logical deduction game. Me, I, I would call it a puzzle. Um, uh, yeah, I would call it a puzzle. It, this, I've never gotten a puzzle set quite in this format before. As you can see, it's a book. Very cool. Now, um, Clue Master is very similar in idea to Sudoku puzzles. Um, if you take a look, let's see if I can find the doghouse. Here we go. T check out the doghouse. So we've got three by three on his doghouse in terms of uh, shingles, I guess they are, or building blocks. Um, this this game does look a lot like that very, very popular video game where children build out of building blocks. It's a hugely popular game at our house, but actually um, Clue Master has nothing to do with that game other than this pixelated blocky look. So anyway, it is kind of like Sudoku because you're having this three by three. Now it's not really nine by nine, it's just three by three. I am a big Sudoku puzzle person. I have been doing them for almost 10 years. Um, it is my way of relaxing or occupying my mind. Um, but this game uses little images, little uh, dog, things. A dog would want bones. A dog likes a ball. And um, I wasn't really excited about that because I've always been drawn to, or I should say, I've always preferred the Sudoku puzzles where I'm working strictly with numerals. I'm not really into the other shapes or colors. So I wasn't sure I was going to like this game, but it it's actually been really great. So um, let's talk a little bit about the format of the book. You have this book here, and in the back is this flap that you can put in or out. And this flap is the same on both sides. It has uh, the dog Tippy and his dog house on both sides so that as you are working the puzzles in the book, you can flip it over and you can work the puzzle here. Or if you're working on these puzzles, you can work the you can work on solving it over here. Um, one thing I really love, these guys, they are magnets. They're not super, super um, strong magnets. Like they're not gonna make it onto my refrigerator. I don't have to worry about that. But this is like the ultimate travel puzzle because this is gonna stick just enough and I'm not really worried about these pieces getting lost or slipping out or falling out. So how do you work these, these puzzles? Well, let me show you. We're going to start right here with number one. It shows you if you have these pieces in this place, so let's put them in there. There's a green dog bowl, blue dog bones, red ball, blue dog bones, red ball. Sorry about that, went down too far. Let's see. Red bones, green bones, blue bowl. So red bones, green bones, blue, blue bowl. All right, so this is what I have left. Those are the only pieces that I have left. And it says the one on the left bottom has to be a ball. So that's gotta be this. The one in the bottom middle has to be red. So that's gonna be this. And then it says the one on the bottom right has to be blue. Well, wait a minute. The one I have left isn't blue, it's green. Hmm. Well. This has to be a ball. It doesn't say it has to be blue. It just says it has to be a ball. So what if I put the green ball there and then it has to be blue and there we go, it's solved. And pretty much the way you check these is you just go back and you look at the clues and you say, does this match up what I have? Ball, red, blue, ball, red, blue. Yes, it matches, so it's solved. If it's too challenging for you, they do have the answers in the back of the book here and you can do a comparison. Now, that was a very beginner one. The next one we have is more challenging. Let's take a look at that. I'm just gonna push these up to the top. So, here we see it needs to be dog bowl, dog bowl, ball. 
bowl, bowl, ball, but I don't know what color. Here we see across the top, it's blue, blue, blue. So blue, blue, blue. Well, if this has to be a bowl in clue one, and this has to be blue in clue two, then we know that has to go there. Clue three, the middle row has to all be green. So the first one we know from clue one is the bowl. We know from clue three, it has to be green. Now, let's take a look at clue four. They're telling us about the final column. Bones, ball, bowl. Bones, ball, bowl. Okay, so we know the top from clue two has to be blue. So those are gonna be blue bones. Now, before I even go any further, I only have one blue left, the ball. So it's gonna to have to go there. Okay, back to clue four ball, but we know from clue three it has to be green, so we'll put that there. Now we only have one green left. Back to clue three. The middle is going to have to be green. We only have one green left. It has to be this. <coughs> and the bottom one has to be a bowl, and we only have one bowl left, so it's going to have to be the red bowl. We still don't know what to do for these, but if we look back to clue one, it tells us that bottom left corner is going to be a ball. We only have bones and balls left, so the ball goes here, and the bone goes there, and the puzzle is solved. <clears throat> so that is how these work, and I was having a good time last night working my way up. They get more challenging as you go along, and eventually they stop showing you the entire puzzle, and they only show you a section. So at this point, you don't know, is this the top right corner? Is this, so is this this part of the, the puzzle? Or is clue three here this part of the puzzle? If we look at number six, it's got three, it's got a column of three and one to the left. So it could be the center column with this one to the left, or it could be the right column with this one to the left. Clue five is a big deal because we've got that plus sign shape and you can only get that one way in this puzzle. So we know the green bones will go there and then we can start working. Then we can start working the rest of the clues. And I'm gonna flip through really quick. As you go through, they become increasingly complex and you really have to do some serious thinking and considering of alternatives. <clears throat> now, let me show you one more thing, moms and dads. If you're thinking of this for your child, and actually, you know what, if you're thinking of this for yourself, you might as well know too. When I opened this up, I wasn't quite sure um, how to approach it, and I was trying to be very responsible because Think Fun did send me this game for the purpose of testing it out, sharing with my readers, providing a review, providing my feedback. So I, I was trying to be really responsible. So first I read the introduction, then I checked out Tippy the dog, so cute. And then I came over and I started reading the instructions. And the instructions start here and they go on, and they go on, and they go on. Are you seeing all of these instructions? And I really found myself losing patience with them and so I decided that I was going to go ahead, I think I made it to here, and I decided to go ahead and start solving the puzzles. And, um, and it, it was okay, it really was okay. Um, if you are getting this for a child who is not so much a reader, I've come across many children um, in my experience before staying home with my kids who sometimes if they were more apt to be drawn towards logic and mathematical style thinking weren't quite as good at um, interpreting all of this written language so soon. If your child is more like that, go ahead and read it and then go through it with them or go ahead and just let them start. Just let them start. Um, if you're an adult, you know, you're an adult. Decide what you wanna do. Read as much as you think you need to read and then go ahead and get started. To be honest with you, I've shown you how to work the puzzles and you can just go ahead and um, have a great time with them. Now, one thing I do wanna share before I go that has really intrigued me 
about the Clue Master puzzles is the makers are very clear there is only one correct solution for each puzzle. So if you think that you have found a solution, say for intermediate number 12, and you come back here and you're looking at intermediate 12, and yours is different than this one, yours is not correct according to the makers of this puzzle, that this is going to be the only solution for 12 that's going to work. Um, so I would say that if you think you come up with some other ones, please let me know. But I have only worked my about halfway through this book and then I um, hid it from my other puzzle loving family members until I can work my whole way through it. Um, but I'm gonna be really intrigued to see if that's so, if we can't come up with any other solutions. So like I said, if you come up with alternative solutions, please leave me a comment down there in the videos or uh, come back to my blog and give me a comment. Um, thank you so much for watching and uh, Clue Master, check it out. Thank you, Think Fun, and uh, have a great day.